Jay White, founder of the Pay to Play Academy, where we train struggling network marketers and frustrated entrepreneurs how to wake up to their divine soul purpose contract and get paid to play. This, my friends, is the business breakthrough. Today, we're going to talk about marketing. We're going to talk about marketing and the specific aspects of marketing we're going to be discussing today. Well, it's an important one. Are you ready? Are you focused? Everything in marketing is about being unique and different. So how do you go about doing that? Because one of the problems with marketing is, is we tend to market the same crap that everybody else is marketing. Whoa. Seriously, you come about, you create a widget and you're like, oh yeah, my God, widget is over. And you talk all about how your widget is the greatest widget that's ever been made at the plan of the widget. But the truth is, is that your widget is really no different unless you can market your message as a transformational experience. Now let's do a little history review. You ready? Let, but we're going to use a comparison of coffee. So coffee itself, well, it's a lovely drink. The more you drink, the more you know that was beans. The more you eat, the more you toot. We'll go a different go. Okay. So anyways, the coffee itself itself is, a, is an interesting experience because some people experience coffee as a commodity and some people experience coffee as a transformational experience. Now my experience is the only people who experience coffee as a transformational experience are people who actually have put a little something, something in their coffee. But I would say coffee is an experience. Does coffee transform you? Well, maybe it does. It wakes you up from the morning when you're like this and you drink coffee and you're like, no, I'm awake and I'm alive. I guess you could call that transformation or you could just say waking up. But here's the deal. In that experience of going from a commodity to a what? To a transformational experience, what you market determines what you charge. What you market determines what you charge. Hmm. And what you charge or what you get paid for your product, service, and experiences is a function of how well you market that experience. Huh? And what you charge or what you get paid for your product, service, and experiences is a function of how well you market that experience. So let's pull this back. I went into clear choice. Now, here's one of the things you get to know about me. You ready? I don't have all my teeth. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. That was not a hallucination. That was not. Nope. That's a real deal. I lost all my teeth. That cancer it was a wonderful experience. Yeah. Wonderful. Huh? Sweet. Yeah. I got cancer. Whee! Lost all my teeth and I needed to get new implants. So I went and I sat down with Clear Choice today. Clear Choice is a company all over the country who does a one stop shop implant experience. Now I've had implants, lost implants, but I went to go get implants and look at it again. As I'm sitting in there, I walk in and the one thing about Clear Choice is Clear Choice operates as a transformational experience and they market it that way on television. Go check them out online. But Clear Choice is very simple. They say, listen, come in and we will take care of you. But we're going to take care of you across the board. And not only that, in less than 10 hours, you can come in one day and go from a mouth that sucks to a mouth that rocks. And they use their advertising advertisements to show how doing their business is a transformative experience from their marketing pieces to a picture of somebody who's like to a picture of somebody who's like to a picture of somebody like me who's like oh a nice denture to a guy who's like hey it doesn't have a denture anymore and that in and alone of itself markets that an experience happens for somebody they talk about the emotions and the feelings as well as what as well as the conversation of the result that they're getting so when it comes to your business and you're looking at your business, how are you going about communicating your transformative experience? Coffee itself can be experienced as a commodity where we're just like, hey dude, how much is that coffee? Oh, it's way too much. Or we say, hey dude, how much is that coffee? Twelve dollars. You're like, yes, I want that coffee. You're like, what the hell, dude, it's coffee. You'd be like, yeah, but it's an experience. Cause I got this really cool cup with a mermaid on it. It's green circle and it's like really cool. And I feel so much better about myself when I drink that coffee. <laughs> Transformative experience, maybe. Getting new teeth, that's transformation. So when you look at your product and you look at your experience, how are you gonna take people from this in your marketing message from the communicating that they're gonna go like this? <laughs> to <laughs> or go like this. <laughs> to how are you going to do that? Well, that's coming up in a future episode. But look to your marketing as a transformative process and the ability to explain how you're going to emotionally invoke people and at the same time, create a better result for them. My name is Garrett J. White, reminding you to be real, be raw, be relevant, and most importantly, do what? That's right, be authentic.